Welcome to the Naval Zoo. My name is Elizabeth Johnson, and I'm the Animal Care Supervisor of Carnivores. Right now, we are behind the scenes at our Glass Animal Hospital, and we're actually going to take you behind the scenes down in our lion habitat, where we're going to ship out three of our male juvenile lions. So a question that we're often asked is, why? Why are you moving the lions? Uh, our three lion boys were chosen to go to Brevard Zoo, which is on the northeastern coast of Florida. Um, and they actually are moving because they are part of the Species Survival Plan program. SSP is a cooperatively managed program uh, that basically helps to conserve threatened and endangered species through lots of cooperation between AZA zoos. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kelsey Stovall. I'm the staff veterinarian here at Naples Zoo. We had a full pre-shipment exam scheduled for our three lion boys before they move off to Brevard and that is quite an undertaking that involves a lot of communication before, during, and after the procedures. These three lion boys were all anesthetized for their pre-shipment exams. Um, this is for both staff and animal safety as they are three large lions. So we need to make sure that we can get hands on them and make sure that they're healthy from head to toe before they make the move over to Brevard. For pre-shipment exams, we coordinate with the receiving institution to see what sorts of tests, diagnostics, um, and examinations they would like to have on these animals before they make the move. Um, and in this case, we decided to do it all at once so that they only needed to have one anesthetic event. So we can anesthetize them, do their full exam, and then get them loaded onto their transport truck um, all in one go. Um, as part of this procedure, we also do reverse some of these medications. Um, this allows us to kind of remove some of those negative side effects that can happen from the drugs, um, but leave some of them on board so that while they're traveling, they can be a little bit calm, quiet, um, and hopefully a little bit sleepy still while they make the drive. During these pre-shipment examinations, we go through a full physical exam. Um, we also pull blood for diagnostic purposes, and then we will do some additional diagnostic testing depending what's required of each animal. So these physical exams include a nose to tail evaluation of skin, hair, teeth, eyes, nose, um, all of your bones and joints, make sure that they have good mobility, and then as well as palpating all on their belly to make sure that we're not feeling any masses or fluid or any other abnormalities that might be in there. Um, as we're looking at their teeth, we make sure that there's not a whole lot of tartar um, or broken teeth or any other lesions in there. Um, if needed, we can do a full dental cleaning. Um, this includes scaling, polishing, probing. Um, luckily, our lion boys didn't require any of that today, which is wonderful. We also do um, abdominal ultrasound, so this allows us to look a little bit more closely internally um, at some of those organs like your liver, kidneys, spleen, um, and make sure that we're not seeing any abnormalities that maybe we didn't feel because these are quite large lion boys. Um, when we pull blood, this allows us to look at both their red blood cells and white blood cells, as well as some um, additional parameters for liver function, kidney function, um, and just general uh, physical health overall. Um, as we continue to go through these exams, if they need more specialized diagnostics, we can also do those as well. Um, so for instance, one of our lions um, needed some dental x-rays just to recheck an old tooth abscess that was there. Um, so we have a portable x-ray unit that we can put a sensor directly in their mouth and look at that tooth from tip to root um, and make sure that everything looks nice and good before they get on the road. Um, these exams involve both our team here um, at Naples Zoo as well as Brevard's and so um, it allows those guys to get a good look at them before they, um, one, transport them, but also in case they don't have hands on them um, for a physical exam for another year or two, they can kind of get to know them a little bit before then. So there's so many components to this move, some of which started months and months and months ago and have been in the making for a while. A lot of it starts with the training that goes into getting the lions ready and getting them prepped for the big day. All of our animals here, we often try to train to accept an injection and the lions were no different. So our keepers have been working with them to come over, line up in position, and then accept an injection so that they can be anesthetized for these pre-shipment exams. That's just way less stress for us as their keepers and their animal caretakers, and then also way less stress for the lions. It's more voluntary and allows them to participate. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, what do you even put a large carnivore in when you're transferring them from one zoo to another? And the simple answer is you put them in a very large metal crate. It is similar to what you might put your dog or cat in, but it is larger and metal and made to hold dangerous carnivores. 
Um, it does have four sides and a lot of air holes so that they have some airflow and there's um, lots of venting. Another question we often get is, will the boys be traveling in one crate together or will they have their own separate crates? And the answer to that is they will go in three separate crates. It's just safer for them and easier for us to manage to have them all in their individual crates. Once they're in those crates, we actually load them into, in this case, a box truck. So when you have three very large carnivores and very large crates, you often have to find a vehicle that's appropriate enough and big enough in order to hold those crates. In this instance, it was a box truck that we were able to load them up into and position them inside so that they can see and hear each other um, and then be able to have them transported safely to Brevard. We've been asked pretty frequently if the lion boys are going up to Brevard in order to meet some females and breed. And the short answer right now is no. They will actually stay together as their own little bachelor group. They're brothers. They can stay together for quite a while just the way they are. Um, breeding is really up to the lion SSP. So the lion uh, species survival plan will meet every few years and they will look at the whole entire lion population and they'll kind of take um, a gauge and interest on what their needs and wants are. So if there is a need for those boys genetically to be within the population and to produce offspring, then they will be chosen to potentially breed with females. That's up in the air. It's not determined right now at this time. So in the meantime, they'll stay together as one single pride of a Brevard and the future is to be determined. We've just loaded up our three young lion males and we are ready to head back from the Naples Zoo to Brevard Zoo. In four hours, we will unload them at the Brevard Zoo at their new home where we have a whole team looking forward to meet them.